Good Moon Martians. Uh, I've been asked recently if I could be more detailed on the Mark II airlock. And so I put a basic one together here. Um, now I have, I'll, t I'll explain it as I go. We're going to start from the foundation here. So let's just look here. We got the support base, which is right over here. You have to start with that. And I don't use the support frame at this point, unless I'm going higher. I use the support frame with exterior panel. That's what's here. That's so I can actually hook. And you can pause this anytime you're not. Yes, we have the walkway stairs. I have two of them right over here on the right. As I go through here, we'll just point them out. Then we have the walkway base connection panel. That hooks, and it always has these rails on it, so you can identify it. That hooks to the tunnel end, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then I'll pull it apart so you can see it. Okay, we're going to basically once you have your foundation and your frame, you'll want to connect an exterior airlock low to it. Now, let me just go look at it real quick. This piece right here. It hooks to the, this part right here. That's part of this uh, frame. It's built onto it and it snaps right. Let me just pull this off real quick so you can see it better. These are the internal stairs. This is the internal airlock door. And, and you saw the stairs. And then there's this piece. I could yank it off, um, but this part right here is what I just showed you. And then we have the end piece. Then right here we have, now this is the important part, people get a little confused about it. Let's walk over here and look at it. And that's the stairs and the in, interior airlock low. And then the interior airlock stairs low. Now this door frame, I haven't been using it. It doesn't seem like it's needed. So I ignore this piece for now. At some point it may be a, an issue, but I don't need it right now. Then I have three doors. I have an airlock and then I have the outside door. So we're gonna need three doors for this particular build that I have. This is the tunnel base connection. That's what we were just looking at right here. Tunnel base connection. Now you can tell by it because it has this smaller piece that connects to the, um, the building. And then it goes big. Now I add, because there's a door here and there's a door here. Now this piece here Now, tunnel straight, I add that just so the doors have more room to swing. They both swing in. This one has a door on the inside. Not on the inside of the base, but inside this piece is a door here, and it swings this way. So I add a straight piece just to give room for the door so you don't have to, you know, squeeze in a corner to not get crushed by the door. So I use the tunnel straight. Now, you don't have to. You could live dangerously. Tunnel end is the one I have way over here. This is the one that this part mounts to. The walkway connector, I believe it's called. Uh, we just looked at it. The walkway connector, you can rewind and go look at that. Um, connects to the tunnel end. And I wish you could see the names like way down small in the bottom of the corner there as you touch them, as you highlight them. That would be awesome, right? So this is the tunnel end. Right there, and you can see it has a smaller piece, and you put your door on it, but it's wide open here. That's the, where I hook. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's uh, pull up my, let's just get rid of that. All right, put this down again. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. And this is tunnel airlock. Now, that's the next piece I have right here. And you can see it has a double seam piece because the door is here, and it swings inward. And I'll show you that in a minute. So you have this door that swings outward. That's the outside door. Then you go in and you have the, the airlock.
tunnel airlock. See it there? Okay. That's what this is. And it has a door. I might as well walk up in here now. And then tunnel airlock has a door that opens inward. See how it goes right to the edge of the of the piece? So that's why I put this straight piece in here. Just so you have a little bit more room to dodge that door. Because if you jam this one next to that one, you have to actually you have to go way over here and avoid that door swinging out on you. So put a straight piece in here. It just gives you a little bit more room. Then this is the part that was called connector. The tunnel connector. And it has a door that swings inward. So you, you can see how you might need a little bit more room right here. Um, you know, when you're dodging these doors as you're opening them. Now, for some reason, it's not showing me that it's airtight right now. You notice I don't have that uh, EXT. Now, I'm not sure why that's going on. Um, usually, you just walk in this place and it tells you it's airtight. But right now, it's, it's saying it's not airtight. So, probably because... You know, I'm not even sure, really. Usually, that just says freaking airtight no matter what. Whether the door is open or closed. So, you have the, the tunnel connector. Which goes into this bulbous piece. And you put a door on it. No, no. This is the connector over here. I'm sorry. So, from the inside. You got, you got your um, base uh, airlock low. Then you have the... Um, tunnel connector then I just put a tunnel straight then you have the airlock piece right here and you can see it kind of bulbous us up outside and then over here you have the the tunnel end and every one of them has doors except for the straight obviously so you basically have you know we're in the airlock right here this is the actual airlock So we're in an airlock right now. This is the thing that's supposed to keep you um, airtight. And then you have your, your, you don't have one on the inside. So you walk into the airlock. Now we know that the environment is safe. Then you go out. There's no uh, air pressure button or anything like that. There will be at some point. And you go outside. So uh, hopefully I covered enough of those pieces. Then I have this part here some people had a problem with. So this is where, um, what did I say that was called? Um, can't remember. Oh, there it is. Interior airlock low and interior airlock stairs low. See, can I grab this guy? Yes. Kind of want to be up here. It's always giving a little bit of a problem to mount this guy. There we go. And then you grab the stairs. <laughs> then you build around it. Now you got everything. Let me jump up here real quick. Oh, I got it backwards. Because you want to walk up onto the floor, so... Obviously. I wonder if I can climb this. Can I climb it? No? No, I guess not. So let's run over here. I don't know why I'm crouching. I didn't want a real long video, I just kind of wanted to show all the parts. And it does work. And for some reason, this should totally be saying airtight right now. I, I have never run into where it didn't. Then you go up on your floor pieces, your interior panels go here. And you're on the floor. So there you go. That's the basic airlock. And I've done it a few times on my Let's Play and on other videos, but I don't think I've ever just set it up like this. 
So I may save this as Airlock Mars. That way we can check it out. Now remember, I just put this. You don't need this uh, part right here. This is just a tunnel straight that I use for extra space. So, but there you go. I don't know if it helps to see it or not. There you go. You guys have a good one.